Okay, a little more prep work here for underway ops. 12 volt DC systems. I'm going to install a voltmeter. Uh, basically just so I know what the condition is of my batteries. Uh, it's a, you know, a small system and got to make sure that sucker stays charged up and know when to use it because you don't have much power on board a small sailboat. Things we need gotta have the voltmeter. This one reads up to 16 volts but uh, you know a fully charged battery static is 12.6 volts so it's going to be just under the 13 volt mark that you're seeing. That would be a full battery static charge. The other thing we need here is a 2 and 1 16th inch hole saw, which I had to go get because I didn't have that size. Don't want too much play. This one will give it a 1 64th of an inch play. But uh, that's as close as I could get, 52 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't figure out a good spot to put it. I'm thinking the spot, I need to balance out my power panel over here and maybe... I'm thinking it's going to go right over here. That way it's uh, this kind of balances out what's going on on this bulkhead right there at the V berth. So also importance here is for this voltmeter it does draw current when you have it hooked up. So I'm going to put it on a switch here on the power panel so that you can turn it on when you need to see what that voltage is and then turn it off. It may even be a momentary switch but I don't have any installed here for momentary but I may go get one and uh, do that at a later date but most certainly you want to be able to turn on this voltmeter. It, it draws uh, 28 milliamps and that doesn't seem like much but when you're trying to conserve battery energy. It's important to be able to shut down any draws on the battery. Those little vampires will kill a battery. Okay, so before we drill, I'm just going to check behind the bulkhead here, make sure there's nothing in the way before I put a nice hole in this bulkhead. So I'm just going to check that out real quick. Have pretty easy access to getting underneath of uh, the V berth. And we'll just take a look under there. All right. Well, there is a hose back here that's on that bulkhead, and we don't want that because that's going down to our bilge pump. Very important little item. So we have to be sure that that remains clear. We may have to pull that off. Just put something in there to. Hold it off away from the bulkhead while we're doing our drilling. All right, I think we're about ready to go. So I put a piece of wood here behind the hose going to the bilge pump just so that we don't cut it while we're doing our hole saw. Here we go. Double check on the bulkhead there. Make sure you're not going to get anything while you're drilling. Good there. If we're ready to rock, I'm just going to kind of make it so it's right in the middle. I like to try to have some symmetry at some point here of everything that we're doing. I think that looks about right. One sixteenth inch hole. Our voltmeter will fit right in there. It'll be nice and snug. Just make sure your voltmeter is nice and straight, and you can put the securing bracket on the back. Make sure you have room, and you, know, you don't cover up your contacts for negative and positive, because we're going to wire that to our system. Sucker on there. Just 
get them on there first. Oops. Should get them on there right. Connector bracket. What that's doing is it's just getting tight up against the bulkhead. Hold that gauge in place. Before you tighten it down, be sure to check your front side, make sure it's nice and straight so you can read your voltages. Once you know that's straight, you can just tighten that sucker up. It's pretty well installed and just needs wired. Alright, well, let's go ahead and wire it up. So, we're ready to wire it up. I've taken the power panel and uh, taken it off the bulkhead. And it's really difficult to see what's in there just because it's a little dark here in the cabin. But I've um, got a bus bar that goes to each one of these fuses. And then from the fuse it goes to the switch and then the other end of the switch is just a wire and that's ready to uh, be hooked up for the positive lead going to whatever it is you want to go to in this case we're going over to the voltmeter so the switch has the positive lead to it and on the back side of the bulkhead here is a negative bus bar so we're going to be running a negative from here to the bus bar on the back side of this bulkhead. Very cramped. Trying to get things installed. Definitely take your time. up the negative lead to our voltmeter so I've got the negative and positive hooked up I have it hooked up to the power panel the power panel is still out off the bulkhead I'm going to put a fuse in it and then we're going to fire it up, see how it's working. Here's the house battery. It's very small, just a small lawn and garden battery. Like I say it's a small boat, doesn't need a lot of power. Just needs enough there. To... And it's so much easier to handle as well. It's tough to put a large battery in a small space. You can always put in two small ones, which is what I hope to upgrade to at some point. Just for house batteries. And this one made a little battery box for it. So it drops right in there. So the battery's hooked up. Got the voltmeter hooked up. And it's coming out here. And all we need to do is put in a, a fuse, hopefully. These switches haven't been used in a while, but hopefully we just need to put a fuse in to uh, the one that we've hooked up for the voltage meter. And we'll see if it won't. have to see if we've got good continuity or if there's some corrosion going on. This here is a 2 amp fuse which is more than enough for a little voltmeter. Probably fry the voltmeter but uh, we'll change out the if a short were to occur it would probably just short out the voltmeter itself instead of blowing that fuse. Anyways, so here we go. Let's turn it on and see what happens. You can see I'm just flipping the switch. 
voltage comes up. Turn it off. Voltage goes away. We want that to be able to flip the switch off when we're not watching it because if you just leave it on all the time it does draw current. This particular voltmeter uh, will draw 28 milliamps and uh, it's not a lot but most certainly it is current draw and it'll just slowly drain your battery if you leave it on. So you need to put it on a switch Shut it off. So we're going to put this panel back in the bulkhead and it'll be a done deal. That one took about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to install. And a uh, small boat, but look at, look at the mess I made <laughs> just in 30 minutes. So we just work on one project at a time. Got out all the stuff, you know, any tools that I have, and opened up my emergency kit and found some wire in there. Lots of lug nuts inside of here. Oh, so, yep. Now we just gotta clean up. Boat clean up. Well, just depends on the size of your boat. You don't need a big foxtail, you can just use a, an old paint brush. As doesn't take up as much room in your small boat if you're like mine anyways small boat small amount of work <laughs> yep voltmeter installation leftovers Button it up. On. And the voltmeter comes up. Off. That way we can check the power at the battery. We don't have to continually leave it on and draw current unnecessarily from the battery. Conservation, very important on board a sailboat.